Hello everybody, Greg, KF4CRU. I'm going to do a quick video this morning on the LDG AT600 Pro 2 that I just got about a week or so ago. I'm using a Kenwood TS2000 and my amp is the Maritron ALS600. Uh, I had been using a manual tuner, MFJ986, that I really liked. Uh, it, it's the two knob. It's got the uh, roller inductor and then the capacitance knob, so it, it was fairly quick to tune. And I had some cheat notes and references of where to start uh, when I went to a band, but I didn't want to try an auto tuner, so I thought I'd give this one a try. The antenna I'm using is a multi-band dipole in the attic, and it's not in a standard configuration. It's in a little more of a Z. So I was concerned about if the auto tuner would be able to get it down to an acceptable uh, uh, stand to wave ratio that the manual tuner I could. I was a little concerned on that. Uh, like I said, I've had it just a couple of weeks now and it's it's doing exactly what I want to do. So I wanted to show you today just how quick that you can tune and switch bands. Uh, on YouTube you'll notice there's I think four videos that LDG did themselves that are very good that shows the features and the functions of the radio. So what I'm going to do is actually in use today move around uh, so what I mean right now, I'm on 20 meters. The band's pretty dead right now. Not much on that uh, going on this time of morning. So what I'm going to do right now, the amp is on, but it's in standby. And uh, I'm on 20 meters. Uh, switch is. And uh, let me move over on the frequency here just a little. Get into uh, CW mode. And just... You heard one click of the relay and it tuned. If you notice, nothing's showing up on the SWR meter, so it's below 1 to 1. Turn the amp on, and there's 450 watts. Uh, just the LC a little bit, and still no, no SWR. I'm on antenna 2, and it says in the manual, you, you'll read antenna 1, when the unit is off, is bypassed. So if you want a... Uh, antenna to be on all the time if the tuner's on or off you'll want port 2 and that's lit. So that's how quick it tuned. Uh, on the tune button it actually has three functions. If you just tap it you'll see the bypass light comes on. Tap it again it turns it off. If you tap it that's called a momentary. If you hold it for a second that's a manual tune. If you hold it for over two and a half seconds it goes into uh, full tune. And, and so the memory tune is what you would use the most after you've been on. So now we're on 20 meters, and say a, uh, a DX station comes up on your cluster there on, on 15 that you would like to work. I just switch the radio to 15. Let me see W, uh, stand by, flip over to 15 here. And if you can see, there was 2.5 on the meter, so we're going to tune that real quick. I didn't hold it long enough. 15 CW. There it's falling down. And if you notice, no, it's got it all the way below 1.1. Turn the amp on. Now I'm getting about a 1.3 with the amp, with a little bit of power there through it, but we're getting 300 watts out. Of course, I'm on low drive right there. So it's an acceptable. Level go back to standby. Uh, let's jump down to uh, 10 meters real quick. And this amp does have the 1012 mod. I put that in myself uh, to operate on it, which is the auxiliary position. And real quick, you see there the SWR is way high. The back quick relays chattered just a couple of times. It's got it below. It's not even showing up. And turn the amp on. Barely flicker it one time, just come on there. And it's coming up to about 300, 300 watts. Like I said, we're on low drive. And one more real quick. Go back to standby. And uh, go to uh, 40 meters real quick. And there you can see before we hit tune, the SWR is all the way all over the chart. Hit tune. A couple of clicks. It's got it down. It's not even showing up. Turn the amp on. And there 
we go. 450 watts, zero. Uh, do one more real quick. 80 meters, uh, it tends to take a little bit longer to tune on 80. Tell charts how uh, well the chart. And the frequency I haven't been on before. It's going into full tune. This will show you about how quick and it starts finding it. The 80 meters is a little tougher on this one. Yeah, I've, I've only been up on it a couple times. Once it tunes, it'll be there. You notice I'm still getting about a 2.0. It's a little higher on that. Turn the amp on. I'm getting a 2.5. A little high, but I am getting the full power out. And I'll show you once again with it off. It's a little high, but that, that's my antenna. The drive and with the amp on. It's 2.5, a little high, but uh, 450 watts out. So I just want to show you real quick how easy it was to move from frequency in different bands and then hit the button once you've it's got uh, 4,000 memories two on each port so once you've been around on it a little bit it memorizes them in a momentary touch will tune it real quick so I hope you enjoyed the video 73